it's great to see you. Actually, I'm not seeing you, but it's great that, that you, you're checking in here with this devotion. Um, I have a little uh, cartoon I might show you if I can get it up on the screen. We'll see. Um, I thought it was pretty cute about a, um, it's about a, it's a joke, cartoon joke about a husband who's talking about his wife who's doing a lot of work in the garden and he's wondering what she's up to and I think you can tell by the picture exactly what she's up to. Anyway, so we're going to finish out uh, Psalm 22. We're looking at the um, all of the, or not all of them, but a lot of the passages in the Old Testament Hebrew scriptures that uh, would relate to Jesus in some way or another. And we've been in uh, Psalm 22 for the last three times, and this is going to conclude Psalm 22. We're just going to read two verses, 27 and 28. Uh, All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord, All and all of the families and nations shall worship before you. All the ends of the earth. You know, and that's really true. Before Jesus, this was a Jewish religion, and now... This is a worldwide religion, and all the ends of the earth are worshiping the Lord. Of course, not everybody, as we know, but all the ends of the earth are. And uh, all of the families of the nations uh, shall worship before you, and that actually has happened. The next part, um, verse 28 says, For kingship belongs to the Lord, and he rules over the nations. This is something maybe we sort of forget. And let me just give you an example that might help in our current situation. Because back in uh, Revelation, the big guy in charge was a guy by the name of Domitian, who was a Roman emperor. And he was demanding emperor worship. And you had to uh, go in once a year. You had to bow down before a statue, put some uh, pinch of incense on the coals, and then uh, say the same thing John says. Uh, you'd say, Domitian, my Lord and my God. Uh, John says that at Jesus' feet when he uh, sees him. He says, um, um, after the resurrection, he says, my Lord and my God. And uh, so, and all Revelation is really a book about worship. It's telling us who we're to worship. Don't worship Domitian. Don't, don't uh, bow down and worship him once a year. And then, of course, you've got to mark somewhere that showed that you could worship that year, which allowed you to buy and sell in the marketplace. John is saying that in all of Revelation, John, John is saying, uh, don't worship Domitian. He's not really the real power on the earth, that the real power on the earth is Jesus. There's this great little story in Revelation where he, um, where he's trying to get the people to see that Jesus is the power of the world and there are these seven scrolls that are sealed that nobody in heaven or on earth can undo the seals. And uh, off stage uh, left walks in Fluffy the Lamb, the Lamb who was slain, uh, walks in to center stage, is able to open these seals that tell about the future. And, uh, and so... John in the book of Revelation is trying to say Domitian may look really powerful, but Jesus Christ is the real power. Don't forget it. And this passage that says, for kingship belongs to the Lord and he rules over the nations is trying to tell you the same thing. That while presidents and dictators and others all over the world pretend that they have power and they have a certain amount of power over our lives, but the real power always has been and will be Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Um, uh, Just to make that even clearer, you'll remember that um, probably none of you know, or very few of you know, or have heard of Domitian, the emperor during the time of the writing of Revelation in the early 90s AD. Um, But every one of you, every single one of you have heard of Jesus Christ. So John was right. Domitian will not last. Domitian's not the great ruler that everybody thinks he is. He's not as powerful as people think he is, but look who is powerful. Look who we are still talking about. Look at who we are still worshiping today. So remember that, that while it's important to pray for our government and the world's governments, and while it's important to be good citizens, it's also more important to remember that the true power, true power, is in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.
God bless you and amen.